That's all I saw was fire trucks there and trying to uh, extinguish the fire and I didn't believe that that thing would happen to me, to us, my family. When we got to the house, we couldn't do anything. All I see is just all the fire, fire trucks, they're just, you know, with the fire going on. George and Serene Salas returned home from separate outings Saturday afternoon after receiving phone calls telling them that their house was on fire. The couple and their three children lost nearly everything in the blaze, which is believed to have started in a 55-gallon barrel that George had been burning trash in earlier that day. So actually I was in the yard just raking the leaves, burning the trash, you know. Um, there's a 55-gallon um, metal can that I normally use to burn, burn uh, those kind of stuff, you know, just to eliminate some trash, heavy trash. But, um, you know, after all the cleaning and I just needed to get some stuff over at Home Depot. So I kind of like extinguished the fire, the trash can. George says he thought he had gotten the fire out before leaving the house, but believes the windy conditions were enough to reignite the blaze. Lessons learned, guys. Anybody, <laughs> if you do uh, start a fire outside or anywhere, make sure that you don't leave your home, assuming that it's down or gone, just make sure that you turn it off, you know, extinguish it. Just, just don't do it. Just don't do what I did. The PD mayor's office has helped the Salas family connect with nonprofit organizations for assistance, and the American Red Cross is providing clothing, shoes, bedding, futons, and school uniforms for the family of five. Guam Chapter CEO Cheetah Blaze says the Red Cross doesn't receive any federal or local funding but is able to help families like the Salases thanks to the generosity of the public. At the end of the day, really, I mean, the Red Cross has been here for 97 years, and it is the Red Cross that is a place of comfort and solace to people who suffer from, uh, you know, unexpected disasters, whether it's man-made or natural. Meanwhile, the Salases are grateful for the help they've received so far, and most especially thankful for their safety. We thank God that no one got hurt. Uh, every, every, everything we lost, but hey, we just, we just uh, thank that no one got hurt. Betsy Brown, PNC News.